Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Montana 3950BR. This is what they call a bonus room floor plan, and I really enjoy it because of the versatility. What you essentially get is a very common, something you've seen before, this beautiful rear living floor plan with dual opposing slides, center island kitchen right here, and you get the bonus room, which can be used for uh, extra sleeping capacity, an extra place to hang out, or an office, and you have a big loft where you can use for storage or again, additional sleeping capacity. So there's just a lot of options when we go through this. Let's actually start off though, right over here on the door side slide, and that is with the buffet style dinette. This is something Montana switched to oh, probably a little over a year ago or so. It's something that's been used in the motorhome industry for a long time, but just starting to come over into towables. And I personally really like the idea. One, it allows for an outside TV. Two, again, it gives you that flexibility. If it's just the two of you, this is really all the table you need. It has enough room for your plate, you know, some cups, maybe a couple other, a couple other extra items on here. And if you have some bigger dishes, you can use the actual buffet here to set them up there as well. If you do want to work from here, you have a pop-up power tower, so you can sit there with a laptop or computer, plug it in, you have a couple USB ports, and you have an additional electrical outlet right down here. So plenty of electrical outlets here too. Uh, let's say you have some guests come over. You want to entertain them as well? No problem. What you do is there's a little lever right here. You pull this out. That will allow the table to pull out like so. And then on top of that, you have this additional leaf. So this is what you end up with right here. There are two foldable chairs that are up in the bedroom. I'll show you in a little bit. And those do come with the unit. So again, this table is easily large enough to sit four people. So again, I think this is a great idea. I'm really glad that they went to it. Another thing about the chairs here, if you take a look, these chairs actually do have storage underneath. So if you want to store anything in there, you can do that. Uh, it's not huge storage, but you know it is good if you have like uh, placemats or maybe a couple packs of cards, paper plates, things like that. It's a good spot for it. Moving in a little bit further, you get to the theater seating. Probably the best seat in the house. This is directly across from the TV. And again, they built this beautiful rear living area where you have a sofa right over here. So that way, if you're entertaining guests, you can have a great conversation. One of my favorite parts about the theater seating that Montana uses though, is if you take a look at the cup holders here, you'll see that there is a button for a light. Not a huge deal, you push it, lights up a little ring around here, just kind of cool looking. But more importantly are these right here. As long as you have shore power or you're running a generator, you can operate these. And so what you do is you touch a button and the legs will come up, touch, and, uh, touch the other button and they will go right back down. And the reason I like that is a lot of times, you know, if you have any knee surgeries, you have bad knees or maybe a little bit older, you just don't have the muscle strength, it can be kind of tough to snap the, uh, the normal recliners back into place. This takes all the pain and effort right out of it. You'll also notice you have cup, uh, those are cup holders and you also have the cup holders right here. So four excellent cup holders and a big storage area right here in the center for remotes or any other items that you want to toss in there. Directly behind me is one of several windows in the slide. You can see, you know, you have storage up top, but the window by like your table goes all the way up to let in a ton of natural light. Uh, and also you have the roller shades on here, which I really enjoy because they operate very well and they went with a beige color instead of black. So at night when you close them down for privacy, it doesn't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Speaking of something else that Montana does very well is keep everything very brightly lit. You can see all the LED puck lights they have in here just to help brighten things up. The storage across the top has your wood panels on the outside, the frosted glass on the inside. And when we open that up, you'll see that there is storage all the way across without any uh, you know, divisions here. So if you have some longer items, you might be able to sneak them in there as well. Now, if we take a look at the back wall here, you will see the tri-fold sofa. Great thing about this sofa, again, it is very comfortable, just like the theater seating to sit on. It also makes a pretty comfortable bed. You don't have a bar on your back. You know, it uses the uh, sofa cushions themselves, so it actually has some padding. It's not paper thin, not going to deflate on you in the middle of the night. Uh, so that does give you some, again, additional sleeping capacity in this camper. On both sides, you have some uh, end tables there with electrical outlets. So if you need a place to charge your cell phone or set your drink down, it's a perfect spot for it. Windows all the way around here, including this massive rear picture window, gives you a great view out the back. Another thing about the Montana folks, every window in this floor plan does open, with the exception of the one on the door. So uh, if you're thinking, oh, does that give you airflow? Yes, it will. 
Lights all around, again, storage all the way across the top. They went with frosted glass across the whole thing uh, on this one, but you still have that big storage area there. If we take a quick look at the ceiling since we're up top, what you'll notice right in the back here, it's pretty easy to see that this one does have a large barreled ceiling. That way it feels a lot more open in here. Uh, your trim across the top does have LED lighting behind it, so it just gives some uh, extra auxiliary lighting. You have quiet, cool AC, both back here as well as in the front bedroom. So not only is that very efficient, but also it's 30 to 35% quieter, meaning you don't have to yell at each other or blast the TV to be able to hear over the AC. Ceiling fan right here, so you can help circulate the air inside. Of course, you have a light on there as well. Beautiful ceiling light fixture here directly above your center island. And if you look a little ways in front of that, you'll see this one also has a max air fan. So you don't want to run the AC, you just want to, again, help get some hot air out of here. Open the windows up, turn that guy on, you'll definitely get some airflow moving through. That one is also prepped for a third AC. Now it won't be quiet cool, but if you want a third AC, you can have one installed there. On this slide over here is our entertainment center. You can see the TV front and center there, again, directly across from that theater seating. Good view to the sofa as well. Uh, right up top, you have more storage. Pretty decent storage there too. And if we take a look down below, you have this right here, which is pretty cool. So the way this works, if you push in, this pops out a little bit. You can kind of lift it up like so. That'll give you some storage right over there. And then you have your multimedia center right next door to that. This is a DVD player, so you can pop a DVD in. You also have several speaker zones, the ones in here as well as uh, the speakers outside. A couple different auxiliary plugs there too, including an HDMI port. You will see that you have speakers on both sides for better sound quality when watching TV. And right down below is your fireplace. Very modern looking fireplace. You can see how long it is. Neat thing about this, folks, is not only does this look great, but it's also very functional. Uh, essentially, this is a big space heater, so you don't want to run propane. It's just chilly enough at night. You just kind of want to take the chill off this main living space. All you have to do is turn the fireplace on. And if you don't want the look, no problem. You can, again, can just use it purely as a space heater. Then you get into the beautiful kitchen. Center Island, as I mentioned, you have solid surface all the way through here. Kind of a modern cut to it, which I like on the edge right here. Uh, and again, staying with that modern theme, you have the high rise pull out faucet. So this is great. Not only does it make uh, dishes and stuff easier to wash, but also if you need to fill up a pitcher like on the side, you can do that. This one does have dual sink top covers. If I take that off, folks, take a look at the size of the sink. The one on the left here is absolutely massive. Uh, great for washing and rinsing dishes. Now, the reason the other one isn't here is because I actually have it tucked away. So if we take a look underneath the sink, you can look right over there. So what Montana did is they did it, have a simple solution to a simple problem. Normally, you don't have a spot to put your sink top uh, covers. So right there, they just built a little wall, gave you a spot to put it. As in both of them will fit there. Additional storage on the other side of the sink there too. Back over here, you have a drawer, both on this side as well as a drawer right over here. So, you know, good storage space there. And underneath is your trash can. Pull it out just like so, they give you a dedicated spot. And then over here, again, some additional storage. Now this does cut back a little bit, but at least you do have the storage space there. Let's talk about the fridge a second. Now, because this one ends in a zero to 3950, uh, that denotes that it has an RV refrigerator. If you want a residential refrigerator, you'd be looking for the 3951BR. The RV refrigerator here is the same size as the residential. It is 18 cubic foot. So it is quite large. Uh, you can take a look in there at all the storage space you have. You get the crisper drawers down below. Right up top here, you see you have plenty of space there as well. So, you know, I have had some people ask me, well, Ian, you know, why would I want an RV refrigerator with Montana? I don't plan on doing any boondocking. And there's a couple of reasons. One, because it doesn't come with an ice maker, you don't have to winterize the ice maker. So that's a good advantage. Also, if you do have an electrical um, outage at your campground, you know, maybe it lasts for a day or two, depending on where you're at, this will switch over to propane on you so all your food inside it doesn't go bad. Right over here is your uh, microwave. This is a convection microwave oven here. So it does do two for one. If you want to, uh, you know, throw a burrito in there and cook some burritos, you can do that. Or again, if you want to bake something in there, you can do so. Convection is pretty nice. Uh, it runs off electric rather than propane. It uh, cooks generally faster than what your normal oven will and it's easier to clean. 
The weight of this particular unit, folks, is 13,450 pounds, so it is certainly not lightweight by any stretch. Uh, you know you will want to make sure that your pickup can handle it. Right up top here is uh, your wine rack. And I tell people all the time, even if you don't drink wine, it is still kind of nice to have up there. Looks great, and also it is good for guests. Right down underneath is your cooktop. Upgraded Furion cooktop here has that residential look and appeal to it. Electrical outlet over to the side, and a real tile backsplash. I love the backsplash they chose for these. Uh, you know, I think they made a big improvement over some of the others. Right down underneath is your oven, decent sized oven there. So, you know, if you want to, uh, again, do some traditional baking, you can. And then lastly, you have the, um, the drawer right down below with some additional storage. Over to the side here, I'll open this up for you so you can take a look. Storage on the corner, you know, good uh, extra little pantry space there for some of your dry goods. And then storage all the way across the top. Open that up, you can kind of see, you know, it is kind of deceiving. It's actually bigger than what it initially appears. So that is good storage space. You will more than likely want a step stool to be able to reach up there. Right over here is your max air fan control as well as your thermostat. Now, as I mentioned, this one is the bonus room. So where's the bonus room come in? Right over here. Let's take a look. So here it is, folks. Uh, the thing I like about this, again, is Montana calls this a bonus room and not a bunk room for good reason. You'll see right over here is your sofa. Now, this is a tri-fold, so if you do want to sleep in here, by all means you can. You can fold this out, sleep two adults here, not an issue. The other thing I like about it is you can hang out right here directly across the way as a TV. So if you want, you know, just a different space, you know, maybe you live together, maybe you're living in your RV and you want some separation, you can hang out in here, you know, have your significant other out there watching TV. Maybe you're bringing kids or friends along with you, you know, you have a couple groups of you. Again, it just gives you an extra room. The other thing I like about it is it comes with a desk in here. So if you're uh, someone who, you know, needs to be able to work remotely, you can have your own private workspace in here. So uh, I love what they have done compared to most of what your, you know, mid bunk units. You have some storage right over there as well as storage on this side too. You know, again, good spot for paperwork or, you know, if it's going to be for the kids, you can throw all their PlayStation games in there. You have storage all the way across the top here as well. And one of the things you will notice, folks, is how well lit this room is compared to a lot of, again, the other mid-bunk models. When you walk in the door and turn right instead of left, you will go up the stairs. A couple quick things about the stairs here. They have gone to kind of a wood look right here. Now they did put, uh, you know, kind of a design in there to get you a little bit of traction so you don't slip and fall. But more importantly, right underneath that, folks, you have your central vac. So you'll see the hose connection there as well as the kick plate. So you can kick that open and just sweep all the dirt right in there. Over to the side here, it's pretty convenient. You have some cork board as well as key rings going across the top. And then right underneath, you have a place to hang up some jackets, scarves, things like that. Coming up one more step, you have a ladder to climb up into the loft. This is a cool feature too. So the ladder, um, you know, is great. It does come out just like so to make it easier to climb. But that way you can get up here, folks. 800 pound weight capacity. It comes with a mattress, so you don't have to worry about furnishing one. You'll see the beautiful metal railing they have here. It's open to make it feel more open, like it's not closed in, uh, which I, I like that a lot. And again, you can see the quality components that they've used here. Big window up there too to let in some light and you have the headboard there. But again, folks, 800 pound weight capacity on here. So even if you don't have people sleeping there, if you wanna take the mattress off and use all this for storage, you can do that. There's a uh, vent up top there too. So again, you know, if you need to open that up, get some airflow, you can do that. Right over here, you have your control panel. You can see that up top, everything you need is right here. One of the things that Montana did do uh, fairly recently, again, within the last year or so, is all of them come standard with tank heaters. The reason I really like that is even though this does have an enclosed and heated underbelly, in the event that you are traveling through cold areas, you're not gonna have your propane running. So what you can do though, is turn on those 12 volt tank heaters to make sure your tanks aren't freezing while you're traveling. Then right underneath, again, you get a couple more uh, coat hooks there. And this one does clo uh, close up, so you can put some of your larger items there. Right down below, this is your 12 volt fuses as well as your 120 breaker panel. So if you need to do any troubleshooting, that is where you will find that. 
And then we get into the bathroom with the pivot door. I wanna show you this real quick before we head in the bathroom. The cool thing about the pivot door, folks, you can enter from either side. It doesn't matter if you're coming from the bedroom or from the main living space, you're able to get in here. When you do enter the bathroom, you will see the foot flush lever porcelain toilet here. You have plenty of leg room as well as shoulder room, and the porcelain bowl is much easier to clean than plastic. Up next to that, you have a very large linen closet. This is fantastic. Plenty of room for all of your towels, as well as any other bathroom accessories that you need to store in here. And then over to this side, you get into the one-piece residential shower. One piece is great because that means less chance for any leaks. You have the tri-slide glass rain style door on there. Now if you take a look inside, you'll see you have a little towel bar for your washcloth. You have a seat in here. So if you need to sit down or if you need just a place to put your leg up to shave your legs, you have that. Plenty of shelving and you will also see you have a hand wand on a bar. So that way you can set that at different heights. Right up top, you also get your skylight there, which not only lets in natural light, but also gives you additional headspace. And right outside of that, take a look at that, folks, you get a big power fan. This is a lot bigger than you get in most of them, so that way you can get some airflow in the bathroom here. Over to this side, you will see your mirrored medicine cabinet, and right down underneath that, you have beautiful countertop, again, solid surface countertop in here with a molded in bowl and additional storage underneath. The master bedroom features a king size bed, plenty of space here so you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night, and you have a comfortable mattress. This is the iRelax sleep system mattress, you can see the memory foam on here, uh, and I enjoy that because that way you don't have to immediately go out and replace your mattress. Also. You have big storage underneath, strut supported so it's easy to get into and take a look at that. It's big enough you can even store your two additional chairs in there if you so wish to do so. On both sides of the bed, you have little nightstands, so it gives you a spot to put a glass of water, or if you need to charge your cell phone, you'll see there's electrical outlets by both of those as well. Windows on both sides with roller shades. Again, both of those do open for cross ventilation. Big leather headboard there, and then you have a couple LED reading lights as well. Right up front, this is your main wardrobe. So you will see you have a hanging rod going all the way across here. Again, you have a light in there so you can see. Also, you have an electrical outlet. Right down below that, you have this big shelf top with excellent shoe storage underneath that. Both of the doors here are mirrored. Over to the side, you'll see the louvered door here, and the reason for that, of course, is because you have washer-dryer prep. So if you want washer-dryer, this is where it'll go. If you don't, not a problem. You can remove this top shelf if you want more hanging space or leave both of them in there and you just have a big extra storage space, big shelves. You can also see your bag right down below. That is for your central vac. Window right over here. Uh, right up above the window is your TV. One of the things I like about the TV is the fact it is on an angle here. Uh, you know, it's again, one of those minor things, but just kind of shows that Montana's listening to its consumers. You know, if it's a flat TV, it's just kind of a tough angle to see. So they angled it down so you can see it from the bed easier. Right down underneath that, you have a dresser. You have a couple of drawers in here. You know, they're nothing too huge, but you know, it's enough for some of your uh, underwear, your socks, things like that. And then you have an additional electrical outlet over here to the side. Now that we've seen the inside, let's talk a little bit about some of the outside features on the Montana 3950BR. Right up front is your painted front cap. I think they have a great graphics package this year. It's nice and streamlined, simplified. You also have a couple LED light strips on there to give you that extra visibility at night. The other cool thing they have is this mirror right here, so that way as you are backing up, you can easily align your hitch with your kingpin, and you even have an additional LED light right underneath to help light that up again to give you that extra vision at night. The kingpin itself does have the road armor system on there, which has a pivoting head up front. That'll help get rid of some of that bucking and chucking, and then combined with the suspension, it makes a great towing fifth wheel. When we take a look right underneath, you'll see this front compartment is pretty open. Uh, normally it's a little cleaned up. You'll have to, I'll have to apologize. I do have my battery box in here right now. But as you can see, you have all this open space right here to the side. It is already pre-vented there for a generator, which is pretty nice. It's not pre-wired, but it is pre-vented in this one. Uh, you'll also see all the cable management. They put it, most of it over to one side. You have your hydraulic tank over there as well. So if you need to fill your hydraulic fluid, that's where it'll be. And then your battery compartment is over there too. Right down underneath, you will see the 
auto level system. This is a great feature to have on here. It is standard on a Montana. With this, folks, it's literally touch of a button, and after a little bit, the coach will level itself out. While we're down here, I wanna show you this. In a little bit, I'll talk about the uh, drop frame system that this utilizes. So if you take a look at the I-beam right here, you'll see where it stops. That's because this I-beam right here is the drop frame. The rest of it continues on back a little bit higher. So when we take a look at the pass-through in just a moment, you will see what benefits that gives you. Right up here is one of your two 30-pound propane tanks. You have a 30-pounder on this side, same thing on the other. And as I promised, take a look at this. So before we take a look inside, you'll see it does have a covered hinge on there. It's also slam latch, works extremely well. It's magnetic too, so you don't have to worry about it sticking out like that. It's not a head knocker. You know, there's no slide up there, so let's go ahead and lift it all the way up. And then look at that pass-through, folks. This gives you a huge pass-through thanks to that drop frame. So normally, you know, that I-beam that I showed you would come across like right here and you would lose all of this extra space, but they give you this massive garage space down here. You have an electrical outlet in there. You'll see that you do have a vent from the furnace, so it is heated in here. And you also have your central vac dump right there. We take a look up a little bit, you have the beautiful fiberglass here, you can kind of see reflection in it, which is always nice. Uh, you have your frameless windows. Frameless windows are great for a couple reasons. One, you can generally have them open while it's raining because they tilt open so the water won't get in there, so it doesn't get all stuffy, you still have airflow. And the seals themselves are tucked behind the glass here, so that way they're not getting nearly as beat up by the elements. You also have two speakers up there, again, that's connected to that Bluetooth multimedia center inside, and a very large power awning right here in the main camp space. The other cool thing though, folks, is if you look right here on the slide out itself, you will notice that you have a power awning there as well. So essentially the whole entire side here is all, or all has awning coverage, and they have LED light strips so you have light at night. Dropping down a little bit, this is your electrical outlet outside. Need to plug anything in while you're out here, that is the place to do it. 12 gallon water heater on a Montana. Folks, most manufacturers of fifth wheels are putting in six, sometimes 10 gallon. Uh, not many will give you a 12. So that's definitely one of those things you normally don't see, but a great extra benefit. These steps are fantastic as well. More ride step system. You have aluminum treads with the grip tape so you don't slip. Of course, the aluminum won't rust out on you. And folks, take a look at how sturdy this is. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. This is one of the things I love about these steps. If you're sick of coming out of your RV and the steps are bouncing, you feel like you're gonna fall, these are nice and secure. Plus, you have the oversized foldable grab handle here. Comes out a little further than most. That way you can reach it from the first step. Have that control all the way in and out. As far as putting these steps in, it is pretty simple. So what you do is you'll open up the friction hinge door like so, and then you simply lift the steps up. Now, most manufacturers that put these steps in there, what you'll find is that these steps actually do weigh a fair bit and they're pretty heavy to lift up and drop back down. But take a look at this. Montana actually puts a strut on there, so folks, you can literally do it with one finger. It is super simple. You know, you don't, it doesn't require any upper body strength, or not much anyway. Be able to fold it up and then drop it back down. Once it's up, you shut your door just like that. You are good to go. Uh, if we take a look right at the wheels here, if we drop down a little bit, aluminum alloy wheels on the Montana. That's fantastic because not only do they look great now, but they will continue to do so for years to come because again, the aluminum doesn't rust. And right in between, you can see that road armor suspension system. So uh, that basically has 360 degrees of protection on it. It will give you uh, about 35% less rattle into the frame of the RV. So that way as you're going down the road, not only is it a little bit smoother when you're hitting potholes, but what that equates to is less damage inside the RV. Stuff's not moving and shaking as much. You don't have to worry about break broken dishes when you get to your destination. If you take a look behind the wheels, you will also see your spare tires tucked behind there. Hopefully you never have to use it guys, but if you do, now you know where it's at. On the back of the Montana, you get your rear mounted ladder. This will allow you to easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof, whether you're just getting up there for a higher vantage point or basic maintenance, maybe sweeping off some sticks, pine cones, things like that. This easily allows you to do it. While we're taking a look up top, you will also notice that this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera on there, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. You will see the frameless window on the back here. So that big rear picture window I showed you inside. Again, both of these do open for added airflow. 
right down there is your 50 amp detachable power cord or rather with a receptacle for it that's where you'll plug it into and you will see your receiver right down here uh, this is for any extra attachments like a bike hitch things like that it has a 200 pound weight capacity on there so it's not like you want to be you know towing a boat or anything with this one but again it is great for those extra attachments on the off door side here right by one of your jacks you will see your termination now you do have a couple different valves on here they are all insulated you see this black box right up there that is one of your gray tank valves you open that up you will find one inside the other two are in the convenience center which i'll show you in just a second if you take a look underneath you will see this tube right here this is a convenient storage place for your sewer hose the reason i like this is because your termination is right next door so you open it up it's a lot quicker and easier to hook that up and again it's a dedicated spot for that hose and then we get into the convenience center. Montana does a great job here. You have a light up top. You have your outside shower with hot and cold water access. Everything you need is right there for winterization. It allows you to use your pump to suck glycol in through the system, which is pretty great. City water connection inlet is in there. Black tank flush is in there as well. Here's your other two valves. You can see both your black tank valve as well as your gray tank again. These are all insulated for cold season use. You'll see you have your low point drains right over here and then a uh, battery disconnect that is for the entire coach to be able to shut off all power to it as well as your cable and satellite hookups. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Keystone Montana 3950BR. If you're interested in this bonus room fifth wheel and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.